Drama Kian Tale, Episode 6. Non Tok Yak, Non Tok Yaksa. This is really what would be officially perhaps classed as the opening scene or the, the final prelude to the beginning of the Ramakian, um, which as I've already declared is based on the Hermit Valmiki's Ramayana. And uh, this is the scene where Patnarai Vishnu Avatar gets to appear as a Nimitta of uh, Apsara Deva Tape Apson which is a dancing female Deva to enchant non Yak and uh, this is a tale where both of them become intertwined in a karmic battle of good against evil between gods and men uh, interwoven and where the story of the Ramakian begins after this scene with the birth of the demon Yaksa Totsagan and Prince Rama Paraham and so Natuk Yak actually becomes reborn as Totsakan, the demon Totsakan, the Yaksa Asura, the king of Lanka, 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 uh, which can be perhaps uh, compared with Sri Lanka, and is seen by many as to represent Sri Lanka, but not necessarily. That is up to your own studies, I believe. And so, uh, before Totsakan and Param, came to be born uh, and the Brahma King began they had their previous incarnations and Param as I have already also explained is a manifestation and one of the ten avatars or reincarnations of the messiah like Vishnu avatar Patnarai so Panarai is actually the real being behind the life of Param or Prince Rama and that that is only one of his ten incarnations on earth and the Totsugan is actually the rebirth on earth of the Yaksa Asura Nontok, Nontuk or Nontok can have both spellings or both pronunciations, what I said. And so, Nontok Yaksa was, is uh, portrayed in Thai cosmology and Buddhist art as having a red tinted skin. He has no hair, and this is because he used to wash the feet of the devas who were climbing up, called Grailad, Nan Kailash. the seat of the throne of Praesuan or in Vedic mythology the god Shiva uh, to ask for blessings so as they would pass by Nontok Nontok would faithfully wash the feet of the devas but the devas used to make fun of him and to goad him and try to bother him and to make fun of him and they would pat him on the head and even knock him on the head with their knuckles and pull his hair out and he would just faithfully perform his duty for Praesuman, Siwate, Shiva and wash the feet of the devas. And so one day Nantokyak was getting very very tired of this and he decided that he was going to perhaps think about going to see Paisuan and to ask for a blessing himself to put an end to all of this bothersome bullying and goading and pulling of his hair. He had suffered so much that there was hardly a hair left on his head. 
So as Nuntok became very weary, as his face became sore and red from being slapped, and his bald head was full of sores from all of the hairs being pulled out of his head and the bald sores being slapped by the devas. He then thought he would go up to see Paiso on, on Mount Grailat and so he climbed up the stairs of heaven past the celestial palaces and the other devas and performed Busha and Tung Fao uh, attended and begged Paiso on he was crying and weeping and mourned that Paisoan had never ever given him even a single blessing ever. Paisoan then said, if I give you a blessing, you must promise not to seek any kind of vengeance or act out of anger or sadness through your misery and so Nantuk bent down and promised and pleaded that he would like to have a diamond finger and that wherever he would point it or whoever he could point it at would be instantly annihilated and die. Paisuan thus gave him this blessing of the diamond finger and bestowed it upon Nantok. And so Nantok then returned back to the lake at the foot of Mount Grailad and sat there in meditation with a smile on his face. And the devas came to have their feet washed as usual and began to make fun of him just as they did every day, slapping his head and pulling their hairs out and slapping his face and flicking his ears. But this particular day, Nuntuk was very angry and he could not stand it anymore. And this day, Nuntuk then rose his diamond finger into the air and pointed it at the devas who were making fun of him and annihilated all of them in one burst of flame that emitted from his diamond finger and so many of the devas were killed instantly. Prain, the god Indra, saw this happening and went to inform Praesuan and told him about Nontok pointing his diamond finger and killing all of the devas around the heavens and terrifying all of the celestial inhabitants of that realm. And so Praesuan then commanded Pranarai Vishnu Avatan to annihilate Nantok, however, in whichever way possible. Pranarai then transformed himself into an Apsara Deva, a celestial nymph, and went to wait for Nontuk in the path which Nontuk would have to travel along on his way. When Nontuk saw the celestial Apsara nymph, he walked over and began to flirt with her and she said she was a dancing nymph and that she would only fall in love with whoever could dance as well with her as she could with them. And so Nontok promised that he would perform the dance and not miss a single step taking the Apsara maiden and her lead and so 
Panarai, disguised as the Apsara maiden, began to perform various postures of the dance until he came to a posture which was known as the Nag Muan Han, the Naga coiling his tail. And in this particular position, one must point towards one's leg. And so Nantog pointed with his diamond finger over his leg and amputated it with the beam of light which emitted from his diamond finger and fell to the floor. Pratnarai then transformed back from the Apsara Maiden into his traditional form of godliness and stood upon Nontuk's chest and held him down to the ground. Nontuk cried out and said, Oh, what trickery! If it were not for the trickery and that you were the god Vishnu, you would not have tricked or beaten me. But Vishnu, Narai, Avatar, looked down upon Nontuk and said, In that case, I shall cut off your head and you shall be reborn as a demon with ten heads and even twenty arms and I will be born as a mere man with a bow and an arrow and I shall still kill you and conquer you as the demon Totsagan and I shall be born as Prince Rama Param and then Patnarai Vishnu Avatan sliced off Nontok's head and sent him to be reborn on earth as Totsagan.